Welcome to Outlook 2010 Calendar Tips. I'm Trainer Lori. Calendar Tips will show you how to personalize and speed up your calendar elements. You can find it in two ways. You can either right click and choose Calendar Options or you'll find it under the File tab. And remember to choose the Calendar tab uh, to find all these. Well, sometimes you want to change your work time. For example, your start time may not be the typical 9 to 5. So you can change that in here. You can also change your work week. So if you don't start on Monday, you start on Sunday, you can just click that and change, change your week as well. The default reminder is every 15 minutes. It, uh, it will warn you 15 minutes before an event. But if you need to be told a week or two in advance or zero minutes in advance. You can change the default. Of course you can change it on every event as it's created, but this is just the one that will come up if you don't make any changes. You can also add holidays. I find this very convenient because I can never remember what the holidays are and I don't want to have to go look for them. So this uh, looks for them. It does take a few minutes, um, so it'll take a minute to import and then it will show up as a um, on the appropriate day and it changes every year just as it's supposed to. Sometimes you might even want an alternate calendar and you could choose what language it is in and then the calendar that might be appropriate. For example, <coughs> the Saka era calendar. If, if uh, you have a lot of people that work um, that are from India that would certainly be useful. You also can choose to send a meeting request to people outside your organization when using the iCalendar format. That means that it will uh, save it as an ICS and they can open it up in any of these programs. So it's very convenient. Most people have at least one of those calendar programs. Under display options, you can choose the colors that you like for your calendar and the font. Maybe you want to change your font or the size of your font. It's a good place to change the default. You can also choose to uh, have the click to add event. If you don't like that, that's the default. You can turn that off. Show week numbers in the month. And when in schedule view, show free appointments have that as an option. Sometimes you want it as free. That, that's really good if you're going to have a very big meeting and people don't have to attend. So you can schedule it as free time, and but it can still be in your calendar in case you are available. This is extremely useful. I have a lot of people requesting how to do this. And this allows you to have a second time zone. So you can show it the second time zone. For example, uh, here's India. And now I've got both India and St. Pete. So I can see, and India is the only one that I'm aware of that's at a uh, uh, half hour difference. So it's very confusing, and so if you are working with India, it might be a good idea to do that. If you get the message the file does not exist, if you try to use it, it means that you need to add a reminder sound. This is unusual, and <laughs> who'd have thunk? But I can tell you it works because I had taken off my reminder sound since I use headphones and I never hear the sound anyway. So I had to put in uh, sound so I could um, actually see the second time zone. I've had a lot of requests for this as well, especially uh, from admins who want to be able to copy uh, calendar items and move them into um, somebody else's calendars. They, they manage multiple calendars, so they want to take some, some events and move them a whole bunch at a time instead of one at a time. And to do that quickly is to go into the list view. So we go to view and then change views and you'll be able to see uh, the list view and you can just simply click and drag or use the shift click or the control click options for selecting multiple uh, events. You can copy them, right mouse click, copy them, and then paste it into a different calendar. You can also right click to find view settings. You'll also see this under view, but you can go to view settings and this is where you can set other settings. For example, time scale. Um, by default, it is set at 30 minutes, but you can change that if you uh, need more information. For example, you can set it, instead of 30 minutes, you can have it here at 15 minute increments, so you can see more information. If you want to quickly see several days, simply click and drag on the miniature calendar, and it will show just that many. In this case, just three days. Click and drag and only three days show. 
Of course, we can always use the Arrange tool to see um, a full week. But this is a great tool, a uh, little, little hint, a little uh, tip, and that is Alt plus the number will automatically change it to that many days. So if I want to see nine days quickly, then I can hit Alt 9 or Alt 4 for four days. Alt 0 will give you 10 days, and that's as many as you can see in this quick view. But how, how convenient is that? If you want to quickly go back to the month, instead of going to uh, Alt 30, you would say Alt and then the equal sign, and that will take you right back to the monthly uh, view. So if you don't want to have to use the, uh, if you're on your keyboard, you want to use a keyboard, you don't want to have to go back to your mouse. And this is a good idea. Sometimes uh, in a calendar, um, you can in, uh, you want to insert a signature, and it could be a specific one just for your calendar. It won't be like your email signature, but uh, you simply go to a new event and on Insert Signature, and then you can choose down here Signatures, and then you can create one just for events, for example. It'd be very convenient. Well, that's all. See you next time.